Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. Today we're going to talk about this amazing Mercedes 190E and I'll just give you a couple updates, what's been going on with it and everything. And I apologize for any wind um, that's hitting your screen. So, sorry about that. Um, other than that, I just want to talk to you about this amazing machine. Uh, it's been my daily driver for the past uh, year and a half. I really love this thing so much. It's an amazing car uh super reliable super awesome i don't care what everybody or other people say out there amazing machine it's got a legendary m103 engine 2.6 liter um and yeah let me just talk to you about this car really quick just want to give you some updates and also some future plans there she is an amazing machine um so uh one of the things that i wanted to mention guys is yes i'm planning to do a full paint job on this car however what's stopping me right now is um the thing is that this car has a lot of uh, tiny small little dents everywhere and i'm just really really upset about that because uh, that's what's stopping me from proceeding into uh, doing a paint job on this car because um i really want to find like a paintless dent repair guy who can actually take my dents out uh, without you know having to use um without having to use the uh the bond or something you know um and uh, that's main that's the main thing guys because you know this this car has uh quite a few dents here and there uh doors there's some dents on the roof rear trunk lid and all that stuff and i'll have to replace these fenders because previous owners were uh clowns and they tried to uh you know um they tried to like spread these uh fenders uh kind of like a wide body thing and they messed up really bad they just destroyed these fenders so these fenders will have to be replaced uh even though they're rust free i just don't want to uh go into repairing them uh, because they're pretty like crunched in here i just want to get new ones or i don't know some good used ones same thing with this side right there um i'm gonna be going with the uh, euro headlights uh, very soon um Unfortunately, I don't want to, uh, you know, these these are available, but uh, they want like $300 a piece for for this stupid plastic. And aftermarket companies don't make them for this 190E specifically. Uh, they do make them for 124s, uh, but not for these ones, which is super, super sad. So I'll probably just get uh, uh, the Euro ones. Uh, they're going to look really nice, um, especially for this car. And also these uh, um, turn signals. Uh, the lenses will be getting replaced i'll be getting new ones um and also this bumper will have to be replaced uh, previous owner broke this bumper i don't know they, he drove into something or whatever uh, but it will have to be replaced um and there's lots of things guys that will have to be done to this car um so much so much work left but as of right now guys what i'm focusing on is i'm focusing on the interior on this car of this car the interior is actually getting really nice uh i restored uh i would say half of the interior already and i'm about to show you what i did um and uh, also there's uh, lots of other things i have to do um i will have to you know in the future i'll have to you know take care of that i'll probably drop the rear subframe and redo all the bushings on it and things like that but the front suspension feels really good tight there's no issues with the front suspension i'm super happy about that everything is great it has new control arms in the uh in the front like new lower control arms it has brand new shocks all the way around bilstein the brakes are good all the way around there's lots of things have been done to the suspension of this car so i'm really uh, stoked on that um the only thing that i'm that upsets me is the fact that this car has a lot of small dings everywhere on the body and this is really stressful uh for me right now um and uh what else do i want to say uh i'm gonna be removing the i'm gonna be taking the engine out of this car with the transmission because i want to refresh everything i want to fix uh, all the leaks replace uh, replace all the gasket seals and timing chains and everything on this car and then hopefully maybe i don't know if i'm if i get lucky uh, i will uh, put a five-speed manual transmission in this car so if you guys have a five-speed manual transmission for this car for m103 engine please let me know i really really want to put a five-speed manual into this car hopefully you guys can help me out with that um so that's that but let's go ahead i'll show you the inside of the car and what, what's been done 
all right so the future plans guys for this car is i have to take the dashboard out um i have to replace the heater core and while i'm replacing the heater core i'll be replacing a lot of other things uh, such as uh, i want to do something with these plastic trims these pieces they're cracked uh, right here i'm gonna be uh, uh taking the cluster apart uh, cleaning it and uh, looping up some gears um and also have to you know probably paint the needles and then also figure out my temperature indicator it's not working uh super common issue and i have to um do other things like to the cluster I'll probably replace all the bulbs i also have to figure out why my blower isn't working probably this uh control module is bad the hvac unit so that will have to be figured out and then i have to do something with these wood trim pieces i have to restore them and i want to learn how to restore them myself um so please don't comment down below saying where i should send them i want to learn how to do it myself actually so and then also yeah as you can see all these pieces are kind of broken uh so while i have the dashboard out i'll be replacing uh, the other stuff i'll i'll actually replace this ignition lock uh steering lock assembly the whole thing i'll just replace it at once so i'll never have to worry about it going bad or anything like that uh, and also all the vacuum actuators on the AC, uh, HVAC unit will be replaced. Uh, also, I don't know what to do with this steering wheel. Uh, it's pretty much, it's a, it's intact. It's a nice steering wheel, but it's just worn out right here. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might just uh, restore it or something. I don't know what I'm going to do uh, just yet. So that's going to be a question. Uh, I'll have to think about that. I'll probably get a different, uh, a, a brand new... Uh, combo switch as well this one's kind of worn out um just uh, not worn out but mainly like this uh the, you know the writing on it just worn out so i want to replace that uh get a new one uh so there's there's a lot of work that i'll be doing to this once i take the dashboard out but that's my goal guys i want to take care of my interior first get it all good and amazing and then i'll move on to the exterior I've been taking care of my interior like crazy. Um, every week I grab my leather conditioner and other like vinyl plastic conditioners and I condition all these so they always stay moist and oily. Uh, so that's what I do. I do the same thing to the dashboard. Uh, it's all nice and protected. I also use the sunshade at all times guys. So that's great. This is how this side um, door panel looks like. And I've had all of these door panels out before because I was lubricating all the uh, window regulators and things like that. So this has always, uh, this this has been off before. And like I said, guys, you gotta make sure you uh, preserve your interior, you know, make sure it's all nicely looped up and all good to go and protected. So this is in the back. I'm just keeping these to protect uh, my seats. Uh, but as you can see, this has been restored. So the rear uh, seat back and bench have been restored. And I also took out that shelf and I actually restored that shelf as well. So it looks really, really nice. And the seats are in amazing condition right now. So I'm super happy about that. If you look at this and you compare it to this, this has never been restored, but this has been restored. So it's amazing. And then also I restored these uh, kind of like ceiling trims um, those have been restored and also right here this this like I said the shelf has been uh, off before I took it out and then I cleaned it and I restored it so it looks really nice pretty much like new so super happy about that I think that this is the most problematic door panel that I've seen on this car. Uh, it's coming apart over here on top and then somebody didn't know how to take it apart. So they just ripped this uh, switch out. So right now when I try to push it back, unfortunately it just comes back, it won't stay in there. So I'm gonna have to figure something out, it's pretty sad. Um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it guys. Lots of things have been done and I still have to uh, work on the rest of my interior The engine has 
I haven't really touched the engine much guys um, but I added some plastic covers right here this was missing so I found this plastic cover so I installed it in there and there's a couple more plastic uh, pieces that I found that I'll be uh, putting in here like a fan shroud right here I'll be installing that as well and I have the piece I just never got to it and then as far as the engine I haven't really done too much guys just kind of like uh, as you guys know, my heater core is still bypassed because I have to replace it. Um, other than that, I still have to, you know, do more clean up here, but I'm not worried about this right now. Uh, mainly what I'm worried about is, you know, I'll have to take the engine out to refresh the one and refresh everything because it's leaking a lot. And transmission is also leaking. A lot of things are leaking on this car, guys. So I'll have to take the whole thing out and do everything out of the car like all the seals gaskets and stuff like that also as you can see these uh, exhaust manifolds they're getting rusty so i want to restore that as well so there's lots of things that i, I have to do guys but remember guys never give up on your amazing classic cars i love your classic cars to the fullest and um they're amazing machines guys you can't um you, they don't make them like they used to they're great cars and while we are here, as you can see, we have a leak right there. <laughs> She's dripping. I think it's a trans fluid. But um, I've been topping off my trans fluid um, from time to time. Don't forget to check your transmission fluid level very often, especially if you're, you've, especially if you know that your trans is leaking a fluid. So make sure you do that, guys. Some great owners uh, used to own this car, and you know I've noticed this before. I don't know if I told you in the video or not however like if we talk uh, about you know the engine compartment itself as you can see the auxiliary water pump is literally just like bypassed and this these two uh this connector was uh literally just um cut off and it goes to the auxiliary water pump that pumps the coolant to your heater core so that was uh that was bypassed and there's a lot of other things <laughs> wrong in this engine compartment that i'm seeing um it's it's pretty upsetting but it is what it is i'll, I'll get this thing uh, all taken care of i'll fix it all up it's not a problem it's just sad the way some people uh treat cars and also as you remember when i first got this car this this car was just horrible uh, the interior was all trashed out and dirty and everything i had to take the whole interior out just to clean it right and correctly so that was that Oh, also, I just replaced this guy uh, recently. Uh, I had to replace it. It was it was actually not holding anymore. It was original uh, hood strut from 1991 to this car. It's never been replaced. Crazy. The car has 253,000 miles uh, right now. So I had to change that. And right now it's holding fine, even in cold weather or the wind. So guess what, wind? You're not going to win this time. I have this amazing made in Germany uh hood strut and it's holding the hood pretty well and sturdy so that's awesome guys that's about it that's pretty much all i wanted to talk to you about as far as this car there's lots of lots of plans but you, you guys you guys have to remember that i don't only work on this car i have a lot of i have other customers that i do work for and uh you know it's not only my cars I also fix other cars like newer cars and different makes like toyotas hondas i, I fix all cars guys so it's not just uh, classic Mercedes and classic BMWs or whatnot. There's other cars that I fix. Uh, so just so you guys remember. So it's not, uh, you know, I, I might actually create a different channel for other cars. But I don't know. As of right now, um, like I said, guys, there's I have to manage my time, uh, you know, restoring this car and other cars that I have. And also, you know, fix uh, other customers' cars as they need it um but like i said the the work always moves forward uh, there's always at least something what i learned in life is that you have to do at least one thing to your car just at least one good thing to your car every day and you will be making progress so that's what i've been doing like at least uh, put at least once at least something to one of my cars every day and that that will create progress and i will feel happy about it entry system it's really nice uh, it wasn't a lot of spaghetti um, and it works really well and nice and will save your mechanical locks and keys uh, so you don't have to use them all the time when you need to unlock or lock your car so I'll just demonstrate I'll just press this to lock okay it locks really amazingly and then you just go ahead and 
unlock it. And that's it. So it's pretty awesome. And also there was an option where I could just, you know, wire um, some, uh, wire a horn to this system and wire the turn signals as well. But I didn't want to do that because um, in order for me to wire the front turn signals, I would have to like, uh, you know, take some of the interior apart and then literally go from the vacuum pump all the way to your combination switch somewhere there just so I could, uh, you know, install those turn signals. I didn't want to do that. I didn't, I didn't want to install extra spaghetti on that. So I did it this way, guys. And that's just enough. You just need to unlock it and lock it, you know. Who knows? Maybe in the future I will end up adding the turn signals but i don't think i'm going to i don't know guys <laughs> as of right now i'm just happy with the results i'm happy that i can use this remote key to lock and unlock this car this is such a little car but it's so comfortable and still like really sporty and you know it's really it's a tiny car but i still sit in here comfortably like man mercedes is is amazing i i, I swear it's something about these amazing cars so anyways yeah guys uh, i'm just gonna go drive it around for a little bit enjoy my baby benz again um and yeah then after that we will uh you know i'll, I'll probably end this video i may have missed something about this car guys i don't know there's lots of things i have to still do to this car it's my daily driver super reliable i really love this car a lot um i'm just gonna stay strong and patient and eventually i'll get this car in amazing shape it's gonna be awesome so um really happy about that guys everything is uh, great otherwise and like like i said guys thank you so much for your support thank you for everything and i'll see you in the next one share this video with your friends and family and take care